back here with another video and we're going to get straight into today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you click, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Now, a lot of people think landing a six-figure tech job is impossible without a degree or a ton of experience, but they're often overlooking the most direct path, which is specializing in identity access management. You know, guys know I talk about that all the time. Companies are desperate for cybersecurity talent, and I am is a critical part of that. And the best part, you don't need a four-year degree to get in. In this video, I'll explain the exact path you can take to land a high paying IM role. One of the best things about this field is that it's heavily reliant on certifications, not college diplomas. If you have the right certifications, you are automatically qualified to apply for these roles. I started my career on the help desk. I got it by focusing on specific high demand skills and getting the right certification. You don't need to be a coding genius to start either. I get that question all the time. I barely knew anything about coding, how to anything coding. I sat in different boot camps when I was a kid as well, but I was never really good at coding. I know it's something that is like a, a basic need, right? Um, and depending on which field you're in, but I knew I need to know just the basics of it. So that's all, that's all I learned. If you, if you can learn the basics of IT by troubleshooting, like the stuff I did on help desk, you can sit down and study for an exam. You have what it takes pretty much is it's, it's really not rocket science it's not that hard you can start at an entry-level it role and here's the most important part you can use that job as a launch pad to learn to get your first key certifications like i mentioned earlier you guys know how important that is right so what skills do you actually need to start first the basics understand how a computer works basic hardware and software but the key areas especially for anyone interested in I am is understanding Windows, right? Think about something as simple as creating a new user account that right there is the foundation of identity access management. It's that simple. It's all about managing who has access to what. It's the core of what we do in every I am every single day, right? Uh, if you can learn those fundamentals, you are building the perfect foundation for an I am career. You can learn this baseline stuff and maybe 30 to 40 days. Now the one certification you absolutely need to focus on first, and everybody says this, you guys know I'm not lying, is the Security Plus. This is the non-negotiable certification you must have. Why? Because it's the foundational certification for all of cybersecurity. So whether that be IM, DevSecOps, GRC, anything on the gov tech side all of that it's what gets you past the hr filters pretty much many job postings will say you must have a baseline certification and security plus checks all of those bo boxes security plus is the key that opens the door how long it takes to pass is up to you some people do it in two weeks some take 90 days my advice to actually learn the material don't just cram for the test when you get in the interview, you need to sound like you know what you're talking about and be confident. So let's map out the path. You get an entry level IT job, you use that job to get your security plus then. The step everyone misses, this is where you specialize. This is exactly what I did. I leveraged my position to learn CyberArk and get certified in CyberArk. Once you have a security plus and some experience adding a high demand vendor certification, something like CyberArk or Okta or CellPoint, that's when you get the higher increased salary opportunities and you can really take off from there large companies are desperate for people who can manage their most sensitive high level accounts you'll find these roles at large co companies enterprises think fortune 500 this is where i've spent my career right and this is where you'll find the high paying i am in cybersecurity engineer roles once you have this specialized experience, you are always in demand. It provides incredible job stability. The hiring process is usually pretty straightforward. You apply, you'll talk to a recruiter, then you'll have the interview with the team, which might be a panel interview. And sometimes those interviews can be two to three, maybe two to four rounds as well. In that interview, you need to do two things. One, highlight your skills, connect what you learn from Security Plus, to the job description. Two, show your personality, and most importantly, show that you are willing to learn and take initiative. Those are the biggest two things that helped me most land my jobs and helped me learn the most. This is how I got promoted from help desk. I was a person on the team willing to learn new stuff, um, take care of different tasks, maybe stay after work a little bit late sometimes. Um, and that's how I was able to learn some complex stuff like uh, CyberArk. If you go in with that attitude, they will always, almost always choose you over someone who thinks they know everything every time. The reason this path is so valuable is that not everyone is willing to specialize. 
Most people stay generalist pretty much. By focusing on a specific high demand tool, you can become an expert like myself easily. Companies pay a premium for that expertise because it's so hard to find. I've seen people go from no tech experience at all to landing a high paying IM job and completely changing their life around. It just takes putting in the work and studying for that first cert. Once you get your foot in the door and land that first IM role, it can be smooth sailing from there. The process might seem complicated and job applications can take time, but the opportunities are absolutely there and they're endless. There isn't a lot of clear information out there on how to make this specific jump into identity access management. That's why I put together my mentorship program. It's not a course, it's a step-by-step -step support system to help you land your first high paying IAM role, GRC role, uh, SOC, which is security operations role, DevSecOps role, um, and, and do it in a much faster time frame. And then rather than trying to figure it out all on your own. If you're interested in that guidance, the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, like I always mention, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.